Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream at 6.30 where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And oh my gosh, all of my friends are here so early. Y'all make me feel so blessed and loved. Hi Kendra, hi Katie, hi Lunar. Oh my gosh, y'all. We've got some fun for today. But first, I want to tell everybody, I am only three followers away from reaching 200 here on Twitch. And I wanna have another party just like we did for our 100 followers. So I'm pretty sure in a couple of weeks I'm going to hit that. So what we're gonna do is I have already picked out a date for the party and um, I'm telling you guys first, don't worry, I'll have like a for real announcement later so that everybody in the Discord can know and all the cast members can know and I mean all the patrons and y'all know how that goes. But so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have the party on Saturday the 28th but I'm not going to do a crazy 12 hour stream. I'm sorry. Like a hundred's like a big milestone. So that was crazy. We're going to do six hours though. We're going to do a six hour stream. So on Saturday at noon, we're going to do our regular inner stage window. And that's our Mulan versus Mulan episode. We're watching both of the Mulan movies and giving y'all our takes on them. And uh, then we're going to play some party games. So we're going to be playing some Jackbox and we're also going to be playing some Among Us. So again, that's going to be a six hour stream. So instead of from noon to two on Saturday, we're going to stream from noon to six. So we'll do the Mulan episode for the two hours. And then from two to six, we'll play some party games for four hours. Jackbox and Among Us is what we have chosen. That's what's on the on the docket. So um, please uh, clear your Saturdays. Show up. It's uh, on Saturday. Um, uh, did I say the 28th before I lied? It's on, Sept on the September 4th. It's the first September. It's the Mulan stream. September 4th. September 4th. I think I said the 28th a second ago. I, w I misspoke. It's September 4th that we're doing it. And I'll do an official announcement in the Discord and on my Twitter and all that stuff. But I wanted to tell you guys first because we're so close. I know by the beginning of September we're going to have reached those uh, 200 followers. Happy birthday to me then. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah, I picked it for you, Kendra. Of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, So we have a really fun stream today. Oh, you're off. Oh, fabulous. Okay, I'm so excited, Lunar. Yes, come play some Among Us with us and some Jackbox. September 6th, um, September 4th, it's that first Saturday. It's that first Saturday, but close enough. We can pretend. We'll say it's Kendra's birthday party. It's Kendra's birthday party on stream. Okay, guys. So, you know, we like to start out with a little EU quiz just to break the ice, have a little fun. I'm going to put it in the chat. I've got a real sexy one for us today. I feel like it matches with the um, kind of atmosphere of Boyfriend Dungeon, or at least as I understand it from what I've read on Twitter. So here we go. Here's the, here it is. Are you submissive and breedable? Let's find out. Okay, here we go, y'all. Here we go. I did click through the questions just to make sure they weren't TOS, but I didn't actually like fill it out or read the answers very much. So here we go. Okay, how are you at school slash work? I'm shy, I don't have any friends really. I'm the class clown, cracking jokes all the time. I have my friend group, nothing too big, but they are cool, okay. I'm a loner, no one is brave enough to talk to me. I have like one friend, so uh -huh. I have a few good friends, but everyone thinks we are weird. How about, uh, I have my friend group. I think that's probably the closest to how I operate. I, I usually bond with a couple people and then I kind of stop. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Oh, pink. I don't even have to read these. Boom, done. Are you confident? Not really, I don't think very highly of myself. Man, I feel normal. I don't think about myself that often. I'm comfortable in my skin. I don't boast, but I don't degrade myself either. I'm the best ever, no one's better than me. Um, I act like I'm confident, but I'm not. I don't even need to answer this. I know I'm confident. I would say I'm comfortable. Um, I'm confident, like I, I'm confident in my skills, but I don't believe that anything that I've done is just due to me. I think like the reason why I am where I am is because of the family I was born into, um, the people that have helped me along the way. I never do anything by myself, not really, you know? Lunar, I put in my two weeks, so I have the next few days off. You put in your two weeks, Lunar? Whoa. What are you what job are you moving to? Is it just at a the same job at a different place or are you changing are you changing things up? Tell me. I'm really curious. Oh, Moisty, okay. I will add VIP for you. Don't worry. After we do this quiz, I'll do that. Okay. What do you want in a partner? Humor, they gotta be funny. Loyalty. For them to love me for me. Someone strong. I don't really want need a partner. 
It's not like anyone likes me anyway. So, oh my God, this, this some of these answers are so sad. Um, out of these, I'm going to put humor. It's really more about like, can they take care of me? Like a huge reason I'm with my husband is because there's certain things that he handles for me that I struggle with. And he's really, really good cook. But he's also really funny. He makes me laugh. So this is pretty close. What was your interest in middle school? Oh, I can tell the person that wrote this is way younger than me. FNAF and Undertale are on here. Okay. MLP, Barbie dolls, Harry Potter. There we go. Um, I didn't really like any of these in middle school. Harry Potter. I mean, that's the real answer. Favorite animal? Raccoon, cat, dog, fish, some type of bird. Some type of big bitch animal like a bear or something. <laughs> uh, cat. Cats. Cats pretty good. I like cats. Way, yeah, way younger. Oh my God. FNAF. Wow. I was a full ass adult by the time that was even a thought. All right. How many friends do you have? Zero by choice, zero not by choice. Oh, sad. One to three, four to six, seven to eight, eight plus. Um, how many people in the chat right now? Let me look at my viewer count. I usually hide it from me, but let me, let me see how many viewers I got. Uh, six, seven, eight. I think there's eight. I think there's eight of you guys. Some of these might be bots. I don't know, but there's eight of you. I, I have eight plus friends because <laughs> you guys are my friends. What do you like to do? Read, watch some type of show or movie, draw. I don't really have hobbies. Some type of physical activity. I like to sing. Aw. Um, I'm going to say watch. That's probably the biggest thing that I do is watching a lot of stuff. Uh, thanks, Kendra. Uh, what would you do if your crush asked you out? I don't have time for a silly crush. I would turn them down thinking it was a prank. I would blush enough they're serious, ask if they're serious, and then accept. I would be asking them, not them asking me. Ooh. Uh, no one would ask me out in the first place. I would accept immediately. This is what I've been waiting for. I mean, yeah, I don't, I, I always would say yes to a first date. I don't, I mean, unless like, unless like it's like a misunderstanding or something, unless there's like zero attraction, um, I'm going to say yes. So definitely if I have a crush on someone, I'm going to say yes for at least one day, you know, see how it goes. What do you want to get? Submissive and breedable. Alpha. I don't even know what this quiz means. I don't even care about this quiz. I don't know whatever. Submissive, not breedable. Um, I don't know. I've been, I know I have a lot of alpha energy, um, which is really funny to me. Um, that's the whole thing that we're not going to go into too much. Um, but I think I'm going to, I think I want to get, I want to get submissive and breedable. I want to see what that says. And that's what I want this quiz to tell me. You are not submissive and breedable. You're dominant and infertile. <gasps> I am the opposite. I kind of knew it was going to tell me that. I kind of knew. I know what my energy is, y'all. I know what I give off. <laughs> I know, especially online and in text. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Lunar. Happy to have you here. You're quite the opposite of submissive and breedable. You will not be pushed around. I mean, it's true. Like, I won't be pushed around. It's like a whole thing. It's like a whole thing. This person that wrote this quiz is obviously very young. Obviously very, very young. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> At least I didn't get average Joe. It looks like most people get you're just an average Joe. That would have probably upset me. <gasps> One of the answers is, oh my God, a Sigma. <laughs> Oh, Kendra, you got average, Joe. I'm so sorry. That answer would have made me really sad. Um, good thing we have Karen to get guide us, Joes. You got Joe, too? <gasps> wow, Katie and Kendra, I love you guys so much. That answer would have made me sad. I hope you're not sad about it. <laughs> you are sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Have you ever made your own quiz? No, Moisty, I have not. I don't know what I'd even make it on. I don't know. It just, no, I've never done that. Um, it looks like my internet's having a little struggle. Hopefully y'all didn't notice that. I saw a little dip in the internet, but I don't think I dropped any frames. I didn't see that I dropped any frames anyway. Okay. All right, guys. Let's start the game. We have our controller here, and here's the way I'm going to do it. So I have this Xbox Cloud Gaming, which I have used and played, and it's worked pretty well for me. I've not really had a lot of issues. So we're gonna try to do this over the Cloud Gaming and see if we can do this at the same time as streaming. It might not work out, we'll see. You know what I mean? We'll see. We're testing a lot of things here. We're testing how, this, how controversial this game really is. We're testing if this Cloud Gaming can handle streaming at the same time. You know, we're doing all kinds of tests. It's, it's fun. So you can see like these are the games I've played on here. Um, so you can see that uh, Boyfriend Dungeon is not one of them. 
So here we go. We're going to go down and find it. Yeah, I knew it would be advertised. It's right there. Okay, we're going to play this. Um, you may experience my controller is connected. Okay. Yes, it is. It saw it after I pushed the button. When playing cloud games, pressing... Okay, yeah, I get it. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna dungeon up some boyfriends. <laughs> Made them before I see for an RP. Failed to start cloud gaming session. Um. Okay, let's try again. I hope this works, and we didn't just like I didn't hype this up, and it's not gonna work. Oh yeah, using xCloud too. I'm impressed. Is that what you, when you stream Moisty, do you do it via the cloud thing? Not from your actual Xbox? There we go. Worked that time, but just took, just took it a moment. All right, we're loading. We're loading. Oh. Oh, this music. <gasps> okay, we want a new game. Oh, they blink at you! Hi. Hi, boyfriends. It looks like one of the boyfriends is a lady. Okay, that's cool. This game may include references to unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Play with care. Don't worry, I love all that shit. Y'all tell me if the levels sound okay, because I've never streamed over this xCloud, so I don't know if this sounds, like, really loud to you guys, or if, like, I sound loud, or... Anyway, just tell me. Okay. There's one else. I'm not Kim, I'm Karen. There we go. Pronouns. This does not change who you can date. Okay, fabulous. She, her. Eyes. Sleepy. Oh, I like the sleepy eyes. We're gonna do sleepy eyes. Um, next class from the cloud, yeah, you can stream your console to a device too, but that requires a console. Is it a big game? I can't imagine it's too big to install um, if it needs to be. I, I assume this isn't a very big game. Okay, I'm pale bitch, so there we go. Hairstyle, let's see what our options are. Oh, I love how she does a little, she has a little twirl there when I change the hair. Okay, short, buzz cut, oh no, full cut. Curly, long, punk. Oh, oh, I love the punk. Fun, spiky, wavy. We're gonna go with wavy. Hair color, they let me do pink hair, so of course I'm going to do that. Okay, you can alter your character at any time in the apartment. Good to know. Are you ready to begin? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you, Kendra. Bree, Bree, you came just in time. All we've done is make our character and saw the content warning. So that's all, all we've done so far. This game sometimes sends you supportive text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? If you answer no, we'll disable these messages. Yes, my mom is allowed to text me. I love my mommy. Final board and call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Bree, I'm glad you're back too. I've missed you in the lives. I guess you've been busy at my stream times. <gasps> A Kit Kat Cafe! Cool, we dance. Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. What's up, Jesse? Been a long ten years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Um, who are oh, you? You don't remember me? I was thinner and younger then. Miserable too. Oh no, that's so sad, Jesse. Anyway, I'm your cousin. Last time we met, uh, let's see. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something, back before California. Oh, I guess that's why I don't remember him. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. Okay, let's see my room. Oh, 6 p.m. sleep time? Oh, Brie, I understand. Well, I'm glad that you fixed that and you're you're back to the streams. Happy to see you here. 
Okay, he leads you upstairs. You can stay here till my lease runs out in September. Aw, oh, sweet, Jesse's Jesse's MVP. I moved out to live with my partner last month, so you get free rent. Hmm. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve your little problem. What problem? Mom says you hadn't gone on a date, like not in your whole life. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sad. It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. Oh, thank you, Jesse. I'm glad you have, <laughs> I have you here. Or if you prefer a summer of totally platonic friendly hangouts, those are good too. <laughs> um, the graphics remind me of another game. Yeah, I agree. It reminds me a lot of Dream Daddy, which is good. Like Dream Daddy is awesome. I'm not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Oh honey, I'm here for some adventure. Verona Beach is the town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. Hell yeah. So what do you think your main problem in love is? No one appreciates me, I'm cursed, I'm ugly. Uh, I guess I'm cursed. It's probably like magic or something. Possible, but then it can't hurt to build up some courage. Curses take bravery to break, I imagine, so let's make you brave. The first step in finding love is finding someone with similar interests and talking to them. Uh -huh. So let's get you some confidence. There's a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You ha have to have an open mind, though. You are ready? It's... Dungeons! Whoa! <laughs> My favorite! Uh, not sex dungeons. Oh. Why would you hype me up like that, Jesse? Though I guess there are some parallels. Never mind. Don't think about it. You know, dungeons from, like, video games or D&D &D like that, but in real life. Oh, I guess that's kind of cool. There's been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence and also getting a workout. Plus, wait, uh, never mind. I wanted to ask, can you turn into a weapon? Maybe, can you? No, no but maybe you can give it a go. You squeeze your eyes and shut and imagine turning into a sword, long and sharp. You open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Same old you. Oh. Oh, don't look so sad, cuz. You can't do it right. Me neither. Yes, it doesn't run in the family. Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Y'all, this game is wild. I love how it's just like, it's just like some people can turn into weapons and that's just a thing that happens in this world. Around here, people like us are called wielders, at least around the weapon folk. You'll do great. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine, I arrange one for this afternoon. You feel your heart start to thump heavily, meeting someone. Already? Jesse's eyes widen and he shakes his head. Uh, Stop! Take a deep breath. It's not a date, it's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyway. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Jesse. I see what this is. The important thing is that you're stronger together. Aww. So whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. The mall has monsters? Mm. Apparently, something to do with common fears. I don't know, ask Isaac. He'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. And in the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Anyways, check your text messages. Jesse goes to leave, then pauses. Uh. Uh, I forgot to give you a little tour of the apartment, but this is sort of all there is, all yours. I just realized I forgot to go into my um, settings and make Moisty an MVP. I need to fix that. Can I do that from this console here? Uh, let's see. No, I can block and report. It doesn't look like I can make him an MVP. I think I actually have to go into Twitch. While I'm doing that, I'm catching up on chat, guys. Boyfriend Fungin, right? We cooked these steaks and Ooh, no, shh, 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 quiet twitch. Okay. Okay, here we go. Rolls a moist goat. There you are. And VIP, save. Okay, you're VIP now. Okay, here we go.
You can type slash VIP. Ah, thank you, Moisty. I'll try to remember that next time. I have ideas on how you could use the shelves and desk, but we can talk about that after you've settled in. Oh, no worries. Whenever I watch on, like, mobile or, like, my laptop, um, the delay is insane. Feel free to use the mirror anytime if you want to try some new looks. No pressure. See ya, cuz. Jesse leaves. Okay. So, I can craft, apparently, at some point. That's where I change my appearance. And there's my phone. It looks like that's the only three things I can do. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Hey, it's Jesse. Now you have my number. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw in the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. Whoa, that's not cool. Don't steal weapon people. Okay, here's my inventory. I've got a white t-shirt and a dragon's galore zine. Throws a fireball. So I guess I'm, I like dragons. So I'm a nerd like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't have any gifts. Weapon info. Nothing there either. Okay, so I guess we're going. Let's go to our lesson. Okay. Oh, I just walk around. What does this say? Oh, I could just go home. Oh, it gives me exclamation. I see. So if you're supposed to go there. Yeah, don't like steal people, even if they're weapon people. Like, they're still people, right? I assume they're like sentient and stuff. Uh, be careful, it's dangerous. Let's get some danger. Verona Mall. Laura 1. Okay. The buttons don't seem... Oh! Okay, so B rolls. B rolls! Oh, I can't go up there. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. But I don't have anything. I can't, like, attack anything. Oh, good. They're gonna give me a sword. You find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits nicely in your grip. A man's voice vibrates from the metal and up through your hand, making you jump. You must be Jesse's friend. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Isaac. Isaac. Oh, okay. I see. Indeed. Isaac the sword. Though I don't require the sword, Appellate. Much as you aren't the woman. <laughs> At least I'd hope you don't call me the man when I'm in my human form. But Isaac's I'm voice? In a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. Isaac's voice? I'm not mad at it. That's pretty good. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. Okay. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. By the way, Moisty, I see your DM. Um, you did not do that, but I will message you uh, full thoughts, of course, after stream. It depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Everyone's afraid of something. Okay. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. All right. Cool. I guess they're going to teach me what buttons to push. You can test out some basic attacks with light attack and heavy attack, or dodge roll with dodge. Oh, okay. Nice. Get more comfortable together, we'll find more techniques. Okay. I killed the phone! Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. Haha, ha, after 20 years of practice, I better have something to show for it. Now let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going to the dunge... The dunge. <laughs> As a wielder, I fought a lot of trucks. Trucks? Strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifested. They were monsters. Pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues around masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Oh, wow. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck. It felt good. 
My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Maybe you fear connections to other people and intimacy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you fear helplessness crawling like a worm the way it did. We'll figure it out the deeper we explore into the dungeon. What if we die? We'll just go as deep as we can today. If we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. We'll still get to keep any treasure we find. Oh, good. So it's kind of like a roguelike. Mm -hmm. To avoid fainting, look for beverages, tea, coffee, that sort of thing keeps your spirits up. You can hold up to three at a time and use them when you need them. One last observation. You can use the power of zines in combat. Press the zine button to use your dragon zine and breathe fire. Maybe later you can find a new zine or even make your own. I can make my own zines in this game, y'all. Y'all. Uh, be sure to not always rely on them, though. Their use is right. limited. So be brave and let's fight the best we can. Together we can overcome anything. You can do anything. Have y'all watched that Paris Hilton cooking show that I talked about in a previous stream? If you haven't yet, then you don't know. Always listen to your cousin, Jesse. What? I'll have to read those messages later. What's this? Can I not go in there? Watch out for pickpockets. Okay. Okay, so the boba heals me. Well, that could have gone much worse. Yeah, you'll see, I'm bad at video games. <laughs> uh, so it probably won't take me long to die. I'm just not very good at, like, not running into the enemies, you know what I mean? Technology is after you. It is. I mean, that's true. You know, if these phones are, like, manifestations of social media, then, like, that's me. Oh, A. Hey. It's a sword! How did it get here? Okay. The hilt is cool, almost cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. Ooh. I'll go, I'll go grab it in a second, Katie. Um, thank you. The blade begins to transform. <gasps> oh my gosh. He's a magical girl, y'all. Oh, well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Hi, Sunder. Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. Wow, thanks, Sunder. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dungeon. Uh, who, me? Yeah, you. I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. There were other options. Oh, if you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Uh, are you more sword or man? Mm, both. Don't tell me you're obsessed with Bonnie binaries. No, I'm just Turns curious. There's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. Okay, heard. If we fight together... I'll protect you, all in, no matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Um, I'm glad you're you. okay. I'm tougher than I look. Older too, but that's a story for another day. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. I'll text you. Oh, wow. Hmm. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here? Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dunge. Okay, Isaac. All I can really say is- Oh, wow, holy crap. Um, oh, that's sugar. Oh 
Oh my god, they keep spawning! Am I supposed to die here? I think I was supposed to die there. Holy crap! <laughs> um... Wielder level 2. Sweet! Uh, and I got a vault. Okay, enemy slain. Okay, you get bonus for time spent together. Love maxed. Wait for a date invitation. Okay. What does S talk mean? Someone Google S talk for me and tell me what that word means. Is it like a, the type of sword or is it about his personality? You feel the paramedics gently bring you to the surface and back to consciousness. Oh, thank God. You're bone tired, but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding a sword. Oh, good. So you don't have to pay for health care in this world. That's fantastic. Love it. And that concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Uh, do I have to? Uh, yeah, I'll release you. No problem at all. Oh, thank you, Isaac. Oh, and we can see what he looks like now. Here we go. Okay. Not bad. Definitely matches his voice. Truly. Enchanté. Okay, okay. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. Oh, I'm just bad at games, Isaac. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Okay. Until next time, then. With a small bow, he strides away. Okay, so I'm back home. Oh, there's more options now. Dear Karen, I'm available for lessons. Okay, I'll check my phone in a second. What's this? Zines. Throw. Okay, yes, I guess I don't have any others right now, so that's fine. Okay. He's got strong eyebrows, good stare. I agree. Definitely here for the voice for him, too. Um, I already miss you. Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Always listen to your cousin Jesse and watch out for pickpockets. Are you okay? Did you find the apartment? My wallet was stolen. No, I'm just going to tell her I'm fine. Oh, good. Stay on your guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. Love you, too. Be good. Okay, let's go look at my other messages. Dear Karen, I'm available for lessons. I provide equipment at my office, Brooks & Associates, if you wish. Sincerely, Isaac. Okay. What does Jesse say? Oh my gosh. So many messages from Jesse. Okay. Um, stay safe. Oh, I already read those ones. Did you make it to the dungeon? Report in soldier. <laughs> you didn't tell me he was hot. Yet somehow you figured it all, all on your own, so how did it go? Wait, don't answer that. Let's talk in person. Okay. All right. Hey, cuz. I heard you, uh, picked up Isaac. And he says you're a natural. That's not what he said to me, but okay. <laughs> uh, I want to tell him about the other sword. We found another sword, too. Whoa, two swords in one day. What are the odds? Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I trust you'll work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good practice being normal alone with a handsome stranger. In case, you know, you might get nervous at all about the idea of dating. I'm not nervous. As you open your mouth to speak, your tongue certainly fills dry as the desert you fall silent. <laughs> I guess I am really nervous, apparently. Um, nerves are that bad, huh? At least you gained a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you, I went to high school with a guy that runs a sword shop and he's single. At least that's what Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac, but I got his number. Jesse pokes uh -huh. his phone. Aha, there we go. He's free for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Um, let's do it. <laughs> that's the spirit. It's mostly a practice date anyway. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., he'll be at Kicks, the cafe just down the street. Remember, it's just coffee. Talk about dungeons, get to know him. The summer won't last forever, and you gotta meet new people sometime. So let's roleplay as some practice. I'll be Eric, no pressure, just try it out. 
Okay, you've just entered the cafe. I'm Eric and I'm sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Oh my God, you can just say let's kiss. <laughs> hi, we're gonna say hi. You try to say hi, but your breath catches in your throat and you start coughing. Oh my God, this girl's a mess. Um, maybe try in a mirror tonight. This might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You'll do fine, practice makes perfect. See ya. Good luck tomorrow, cuz. Jesse leaves. You have a few extra hours, how will you spend the evening? Um, investigate the cafe, browse the internet, or go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. You wander around for a few blocks and find a nightclub nearby. Ooh, let's go in. The music intrigues you. You stand and listen for a while. You notice a woman watching you from the VIP section, but you're too shy to talk to her. Eventually, you head home and go to bed. You wake up paralyzed with deep and explicable fear. Why? Because I saw a lady? Today will be your first date for the rest of your life. What if... You're not even sure what you're afraid of, but it feels like you can't breathe. It didn't let me talk to her, Kendra. I would have. Um, I'm going to count to ten. You count slowly, focusing your thoughts. One, two, three. Eventually, you feel a bit better. You get up and walk down to the coffee shop. Welcome to Kicks. Welcome to Kicks. Hmm. I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. You look around and see someone waving at you. Hey, you're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Sup, Eric? Now tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? <laughs> oh man, oh man. She's so awkward, her options. Uh, we're gonna say one-handed. I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, I think he is the submissive and breedable option. He waggles his eyebrows playfully. Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. Um, you can become a weapon? No, it's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it. Oh, he's not one of the weapon boyfriends. But my shop sells only pure steel, some imported, some made on site. Maybe I could give a discount to a fellow enthusiast who'd give my blades a good home. Oh, he'll hmm. sell me my boyfriends. Um, you seem like the kind of woman who appreciates fine craftsmanship. I am. As a smith, I have an eye for it too. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal and with finesse and strength, turn them into art. Well, I try anyway, I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know. Oh, he learned on YouTube. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. For now, here's a gift for a fellow craftswoman. Maybe you can do something with these. I agree, Katie. He looks part elf. Strong but flexible like I want it to be. Oh, some wire. A modern miracle? Oh, plastic. Uh, bracelets recipe. Okay. So I guess that's some crafting I can do. You think you could make something out of this stuff? Anyway, I should be getting back to the shop. Want to go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need more frivolity in my life. Uh, yeah, I'd talk to you again, Eric. You're cool. If you need a weapon, excuse me. If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again soon. Anyway, ciao. Ciao. Bye, Eric. Okay, let's go home. Okay, let's see, can I do this crafting? Yeah, let's make a bracelet. Oh, I got a Chivo. Um, wait for it a gift opportunity to give it to someone special. Oh, I can give them bracelets. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Very cool. All right. Let's see. Who is harassing me? Jesse harassing me. Okay. You did it. You went on a date, sort of. How'd it go? Um, happy poop or hearts? I guess hearts. It was good. He was nice. Wait, really? I mean, I'm happy for you, but you still have most of the summer left. Meet more people before you propose. <laughs> now you're infinitely more date experience than you were yesterday. Plus, you'll find another date venture soon. Um, what about Eric? I was, I'm going to say I want to date weapons. I'll see what I can do. I promised your mom I would help after all, so I'm going to find you someone nice. Chill and dunge for now. Or use the crafting table I left in the apartment. You can craft supplies, clothes, and other stuff from shops around town, too. I'll let you know when your next date is set up. Okay. You like dancing. Yeah. 
Come to my club, La Rosa. VIP. Okay. Okay, cool. Me too. Just tell the bouncer you're with me. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm kind of smitten. I'm here for Sunder. Hi, Karen. I'm available for lessons. I'll provide equipment in my office. If you wish, sincerely, Isaac. Um, it's not a letter. <laughs> let's train. We'll say let's train. Looking forward to it. Okay. I want to date weapons. Okay, Destructo. That's right, Kendra. That's right. Okay. I answered all my messages. Do I have anything in my inventory? No, I really don't. Okay. I can't dance, so I live vicariously through your character. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I think that's all I can do in here. There's nothing. There's no other options. Yeah. Okay. Bye! Okay. Oh, there's... Okay, so that's a date. Oh, wait. There's exclamation points here. Let's go to the shop first before I date. Welcome! Let me know if I can help. Oh... Oh, I only have two dollars. I can't buy any of this, but I want to look cute for Sunder. Aww. You're welcome, I guess. I didn't buy nothing. Let's see what else is around this town. Oh, that's the end of the map. What's this way? Okay. So, this is my date with Isaac, love rank zero. This is my date with Sunder, love rank zero. Okay, okay, I see how it goes. All right, all right, Sunder, let's date. Hmm? Name, I'm with Sunder. The bouncer unclips the velvet rope and lets you step inside. Sunder is venting to a woman sitting next to him in the VIP area. Yeah, that's hmm. the lady. But I just can't feel a real connection, you know? Mm hmm Join the club. Wow. And without love, what's the point? Hey, Karen, do you believe in soulmates? I want to. I want to, Sunder. Sunder hesitates, eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. Uh-huh. Me too. I just keep getting so disappointed. I'm not sure anymore. That's so sad. Love rank one. Okay. Okay, oh. Cut. Finishers cause enemies to bleed. Okay. They make it look so easy in the movies. <sighs> Romance has been dead at least 500 years. What's her name? So yeah, Karen, this is Mandy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, she's my business partner, co-owner of the club. Charmed, I'm sure. What kind of sword do you turn into again? Uh. No, she's a wielder. I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? Wow. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> What'd you say? Nah. You know, never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling healed from my abduction and dunge outing. What about you? Let's dance. Yes. Tonight we dance like we're gonna die in 50 years. What? 50 years? That's a long way away, sir. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What? We are! Whatever, idiot. <laughs> Mandy, you're not wrong, okay? You're just kind of, like, you know. Mandy kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sways and sips his drink, but Mandy dances with abandon. You can feel the music thumping in your chest. I'm gonna try some dance moves, y'all. I wonder if my character can dance. I guess we'll find out. You take a chance and put your heart into every motion. Mandy takes it as an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Oh my. Sunder smiles and leaves the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom. Mandy leans in, her breath warms in your ear. This date with this dude turned into the date with her. Wow! You should really be careful, little one. Oh no. Sunder eats up lovers one by one. He seems nice, but he's double-edged. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so... Believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies and he's dangerous. Sunder's using you. Oh my god, Mandy, I just met him! Holy crap! Um, part of it is addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Um, then why are you his friend? I can be friends with hassles, I just don't date them. I don't know, Mandy, sounds like you got some something going on. But I like you, you're sweet. I'm just trying to help, be careful. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck. 
Wow. Mandy kisses you on the cheek and leaves. The crowd parts around a sword that seems to be dancing its way toward you. Oh my god, he went and turned into a sword in the bathroom. What? What? Mandy left, huh? It's just us two now. Let's enjoy the moment while we can. Oh my god, please turn back into a human. Thank you. Yes, that's better. <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, you dance together late into the night until you're breathless and sweaty. Ooh. Eventually the night is over. You head home. Hey! Oh! Okay. Hey, Eric, what's up? I'm really glad Jesse introduced us. Me too! You should come by Naked Steel sometime. Our scimitars have scintillating curves. <laughs> a special price for a special lady, what do you say? Yeah, I'll go check it out. I'll be waiting and hoping. Okay, Eric. Sounds good. What's mom got to say? Honey, I know you've always been afraid of change, and I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you. But Jesse says you're fighting monsters. I hoped you'd pick a less dangerous career. Wow. Like cobra wrestling or wreck driving. <laughs> I'll be careful, mom. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Good. That's my girl. Oh, she's still talking. Of course I support you no matter what. Aw, oh, my mom's nice. Be safe, I will. Thank you. Okay. What's up, Sunder? Hey, cutie, sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off, but that's how I am. You're a good dancer. Um. Oh, she's gonna match his texting style too? Wow. Okay, here we go. You are too. His little rose emoji. Let's go again sometime. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very cool. Very cool. Definitely into Sunder. All right, let's go on that other date. I have health care, right? I mean, I did notice that it was free. So you know, when I, you know, passed out in the dungeon. So that was nice. <laughs> you stopped at Isaac's office. You're, oh, you're stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with Mr. Brooks? Yes. Well, hello. Karen, you made it. Christine, Karen is always welcome here. Yes, Mr. Brooks. It's good to see you. I was hoping you would take up my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer foil, saber, or ep ape? I don't know how to say that. Um, I don't know. Saber, I guess. So you wish you were more quick and decisive. Interesting. I don't know what that means. <laughs> he has a onesie shirt behind him. I see that. It's like fencing gear all back there. We shall see. Now ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He shrugs on his fencing gear with practiced ease. Now stand straight up with your blade out towards my heart. Turn to regard me from the side. Hold your shoulder and hip. This is the on guard stance. You're quite literally on guard. We will begin with the basic movement. Looking into my eyes, advance towards me. Front foot, then back foot. Um, I'm gonna step mm -hmm. forward. Try lifting your toes first, don't cross the legs. Now in foil, you can only score by hitting the torso and saber the upper body. But in dungeons, you don't need to score points with any judges. I suppose that means we should use epe rules. I still don't know how to say that word. Sorry, guys. Any hit counts. Let's try a lunge attack then. Extend your front leg with all your weight, keeping your front foot flat, no bent ankle. You lunge heavily forward, feeling a little awkward. <laughs> Not bad, you have talent. Oh, I got rank one with him. Repose. Holding roll lets you counterattack if you use just before an incoming attack. Okay. Oh, it looks like we've reached a new level of understanding. You can now parry with me. The more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is a friend's only maneuver. To parry in a dungeon, hold dodge just before the enemy attacks. Hits with automatically counter. Okay. That's a special move only you and I can do together, so don't forget. You can also check out our parry in the combo details in your phone later. But for now, shall we take a break? He loosens his glove and removes his fencing jacket. Mm. If you'd like to keep training with me, perhaps we should get to know each other better. Um, what do you do? These days I'm an investor. 
Oh, okay. So he got some, he got some cha-ching. Um, I've been quite successful with Slicer. What about you? You're a dashing dunge here now, right? What do your parents think about your dangerous profession? Do they approve? Um, Mom always supports me. I'm glad she respects your choices. It's heartening to know that such parents exist. Does your mother adopt? <laughs> Isaac falls silent for a moment, thoughtful. Mm. I do prefer life on the straight and narrow. There's a knock at the door. One minute, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? I said one minute, please. Can you wait in the lobby? So you're just gonna keep a guest waiting while you faff about? Wow, I'm important, okay? He's helping me. Vincent, you're 20 minutes early for our appointment. I thought I might have some priority in the life of my only child. Oh, wow. Um, I'll just go. I'm terribly sorry, Karen. It seems I'm occupied. Yeah, I can see that. I'll text you to set up our next appointment. You're texting now? What's next in your slumming schedule? Wow, people text Vincent. Will you drink water from plastic bottles too? Oh my God, his dad's the worst. Are there any depths you won't stoop to? Clearly not. You slip out the door. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have to eavesdrop. You hear Vincent yell about having low standards and making disgraceful choices. Isaac responds too quietly for you to hear. You head home. Oh no. Oh wow, his dad sucks. Hey, you up. Oh man. Yeah, I'm up. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought he was stopping, but no, he is going to text again. I was just feeling extra sharp today. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> wow, oh my god. I can be horny so quickly. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really into Sunder. Like, this is... This is, this is my jam. Okay, here we go. I want to kiss it. I want to say I'm blushing, but it's more than that. Maybe I'll show you more sometime. See you in the dunge. Okay. All right, Sunder. I'll see you in the dunge. Okay. Sorry we were interrupted, but do you care for business talk? It's okay. I don't mind it. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited then. I'm not a fan myself. <laughs> Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to know. I'm sorry, your dad's such a dick, Isaac. Jesse says you went on a date. Did go on a date. They better have treated you well. You only deserve the best. Thanks, Mom. Sorry, sorry, I'll let you do your thing. But if they hurt you, tell me. Mama will take care of it. Oh, nice. I, lo I love my mommy. In game and real life. It's crazy Jesse has a cousin like you. He's a loser or was in high school, no offense. Wow, that's mean. Everyone was a loser in high school. Oh my God. Talk to you later, hottie. <laughs> okay, he can call me that. He can call me that. I wanna have all the boyfriends, guys. Sunder can be my number one boyfriend though. Okay, what are my choices now? I don't think I walked. Did I walk all the way to this side of the map? Yeah, I did. Okay. So I guess if I don't have any dates, I need to go back to the dunge. And I can do Isaac or Sunder. Okay. Well, we're going with Sunder, of course. You don't like Eric Kendra? He's not for you? What do monsters shop for? I don't know. That's a light. Is that a garbage can I can? Yes, it is. Oh, there's more anemones. More televisions and phones. Bye. Go away. Leave me alone. Get him, Sunder. I walked right into his little, like, beam. Dodge.
That's a lot of blood. Okay, I'll heal. Get my treasure. Ooh, I found glass. Okay. No, Eric's not for me. Yeah, so far, definitely least favorite. But he's not a weapon, so I don't even know if he's, like, really an option. But he's really flirty, so it makes me think that there's some kind of, like, way that he can be. Or that you can have, like, those types of scenes with him. I don't know. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go next level. Next level with Sunder! Die! Die everything! Get out of here, TVs! I don't need you! Verona, like Romeo and Juliet, less high. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's on purpose. I should try using the fire thingy, I guess. I wonder, can... I don't know why it's like that. Like, boarded up like that. It's like I can fall down there or something. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! A new boyfriend! A new boyfriend! The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather and double-edged blade what is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just, like, grab me without warning? I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. I'm sorry! Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to snap, I just... I'm not sure what's going on. I was out at night, as you do, and then... BAM! I'm here, my blade hurts, monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. Oh no, it happened to I her too? So. And damaged too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. Okay. I can take care of myself. Mostly. I mean, you didn't just now. I could use some extra cash, though, so... I'll keep in touch. She wants me for my money! Ciao, for now. Okay, ciao. Oh my gosh! Okay, I think maybe... Go this way? We'll go this way. Oh, don't walk into the bullets, Karen. Stop running from me, TV. It's okay if you faint, I'm right here. Oh, thanks, Sunder. I'm, I'm glad you're here for me. Money, money, money. Oh, Azine, I can't wait until you're not being attacked to see it. Oh, I need to do it. I keep not doing it. It's like, it's a weapon. Ooh, what's this? Money, 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 money. What's this way? Oh, this goes around to the same room. Okay, so you can approach it from your way. Mind if we take a break? Yeah, I don't want to take a break. I do. I'm pretty good. Let's go back around the way that I didn't go before. Walk right into it. Get another try for the sexiest duo around. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's the way to the next one. Okay. Let's go back to where I was before and explore that room. Because that's the way down. 
but I'm out of boba, so I'm probably gonna die soon. Yeah, it just shoots fireballs, basically, is what this zine does, but I guess I can get other zines. Ah, boba! Hell yeah. Give me more boba! Zine refill. Sugar. What is this? Uh huh. Sure, I'll skate a bit. Want to race? I'm gonna warn you, I'm not bad. No, let's chill. Don't race. <laughs> sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, I didn't know I had a crush on such a dork. Wow, Sunder, you have a crush on me? Sunder skates beside you, sometimes turning backwards to watch you. <laughs> you look pretty good. Oh no, it just says you're pretty good. It's always fun to see you in a new environment. He does have good banter, Katie. He's great. I'm so here for Sunder. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes! I made this bracelet for you, Sunder. Oh, he loves it. Oh, thank you. I like this. And I like you, too. We're all warmed up for more monster fighting. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I'm so smitten. Can I sit on this bench? I can't sit on the bench. Okay. Roll, roll. So I guess that pink exclamation mark on the map meant there was like a little fun thing I could do there so I could ice skate. Okay, let's go down to level three and probably die. <laughs> probably die at the next level. So I was pretty low on health and I only found that one boba. Kill me back up, but still. Oh, love rank max. Wait for a date invitation. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So you can only do so much. Well, we'll do some with Isaac then, until I die. Rona, Mall, Floor 3. More wire! It's nice to have options. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all, this is a pretty good game. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I can already tell that um, I'm gonna play this more even after the stream, you know? Like, I'm gonna keep playing this. Um, I know we still have an hour left, but like, I know that I wanna play more than just one more hour of this game. Oh, hey, okay. The vending machine offers several choices. Oh, I can buy more. I don't- I still don't know what sugar does, and I guess this is something I haven't found yet, but yeah, let's buy some- let's buy another bubble tea. Oops, looks like the machine broke when it was handing your item. Oh, so then I can only get the one. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I understand. I'm gonna play this game, dang. Yeah, it's really good! Like, I'm not gonna lie, Kendra, this is absolutely up your alley. Oh no! Oh man, that- that cassette tape hurt like fuck! Damn! It like boom boom two-shotted me. It's okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Hangouts found. Oh, it's called a hangout. Okay. Wielder level three. Oh, I'm an amateur now. Fabulous. Thank you, doctors. Thank you, EMS. Want to go to the club again? Fuck yes, I want to go to the club again. Oh wait, I need to... No, no, no. Haha, I need to make another bracelet. I don't have any other... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to make another bracelet. It says I crafted it. But I want to make another. So I have more gifts. Mm. It's not, it's not letting me. I don't know. That's weird. I guess I can't make multiple? That don't make no sense. Alright, what's up, Jesse? Um, I don't know Sunder well, but I heard he doesn't have the best track record. Just be careful, okay? Thanks, Dad. I know what I'm doing, okay? Ha, sorry, you should be. Let me live my life, Jesse. Maybe I want it like that. Whoa! Oh my god, thank you for the raid, Maximax. Max. 15 people. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Um, Katie or Kendra, can you guys give uh, Mackle Max a shout out? Exclamation SO, and then Mackle Max, his name. Y'all go follow. Um, he's really cool. I know he was playing some Pokemon earlier, and I did watch a little bit of that, and it was really awesome. All right. Here we go, let's talk to mom next. Uh, Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in the dunge, so it's like therapy, but with swords? Yeah, it is kind of. Thank you, Katie. Everybody go follow Macomax, please. He's awesome. 
Well, that's good. It sounds healthier than I thought, at least if you don't take any permanent damage. Therapy is important, especially when you're feeling on edge. I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years and it helped me grow and level up as a person. Aww, I'll try to do the same, Mom. Hi, Raiders. Hi. Um, to let you guys know what I do on here on Thursday nights, I stream um, kind of whatever I want. Most of the time we're playing through Final Fantasy X, but today we're doing a First Impressions of Boyfriend Dungeon because the controversy on Twitter was just, it was just too good. And the game looked amazing. It looked like right up my alley, and so far it is. Um, on Saturdays, we also stream as well. That's my more like community stream. Uh, my friend Landon does it with me a lot of times and it's all, we also have community days regularly where we play with viewers and, and, you know, other people can come join us. So you're here for my solo stuff. By the way, this is definitely an 18 plus stream and an 18 plus game. If you're not 18 plus, um, please close the stream. Sorry. I know that hurts to feel. Um, that that how that feels being told that sort of thing if that applies to you but it just it is what it is you know what I'm saying okay okay Valeria I liked her okay this is the that dagger you met hey oh it's a question mark hey this is that dagger you met name's Valeria want to meet up sometime yeah I'd meet up with you thumbs up thumbs up okay wonderful Okay, Sunder, it's your turn. You get my full attention now. I answered all my messages. <laughs> Want to go to the club again? Yes. It's a date. I'm all yours. They're about to ask for bus money. That's kind of the vibe I was getting too, Katie, but she just stopped texting, so it's fine. It's a date. I'm all yours. Oh, well, Sunder. Okay, let's go. Our second date with Sunder, y'all. You spend time at La Rosa with Sunder. After a bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP section. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's get to know each other better. Ask me anything, beautiful. Um, what do you do? I own this place with Mandy. Oh man, so he doesn't need my money. <laughs> That's fabulous. Well, she owns most of it. I do, I make do with scraps. Oh, so he doesn't really own it? It's really Mandy and he like kind of helps her. Okay, maybe this is the vibe. It's Mandy's place and he's like her gopher assistant. Life is for living, right? So why work? I'd rather have a good time. I mean, if you got enough money to just live, like you should just live. Lover rank two. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I get to choose. Finishers have larger attack area or do more damage when surrounded. Um, finishers have larger attack area. Sounds like more my style. So I spend most nights dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. Oh, Sunder. Sunder meets your gaze with an intensity that makes you blush. His focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts away. Uh... I'll be right back, beautiful. Don't go anywhere, all right? I'm right here, Sunder. It's okay. He smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. You wait. It's probably been only a few minutes, but it feels like he's gone for a long time. You feel an itch, a hunch, a suspicion, maybe made of nothing but jealousy. Is he doing drugs in there? Because like Mandy said addiction. You wonder if you should go after him. Your gut feels tight and hot with tension. You tell yourself not to be paranoid. No, I want to see if he's doing drugs. Maybe I want some drugs. You decided to just take a little peek to calm your nerves. You find a back door propped open outside. You hear giggling. You step outside and Sunder is leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. Is that her? Cause someone like that's watching us. Sunder leaps away from her wiping his mouth. No. Why is his eyes red? Oh, is he a vampire? What, huh? Okay, uh, Karen. So this is weird, I'm gonna go. Uh... No need to sneak up on a guy who's coming back soon. What was- what are you doing, vampire man? Nothing, just a talking, maybe a kiss or two, like you. Just chill out, okay? We have so much fun together. I want to make you feel special because you are. I like you a lot, like, a lot, a lot. Hmm. Dude, if you're a vampire, like, tell me! But also, sometimes I want to kiss other people and I'm sorry if that hurts. Um, let's just, I don't want that option. I'm a one weapon girl. No, is that an apology? I mean, I'm going to date the other weapons too. 
Um, just don't lie to me, if you insist, but don't blame me if you don't like what you hear. I'll do right by you, Karen. Trust me. Okay. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. You head home. I found you another date. Was thinking of going to the park? Okay, I guess I'll check my phone. I was gonna try to go to the store. I need more crafting recipes. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong and I can make multiple bracelets. I don't, I don't really know. All right, mom, what's up? Come on, hurry up, Sunder's texting me. I was so worried when you went off to VB over at a beach on your own, but you're doing great. Facing fears, finding friends, I'm amazed. But it makes me proud, my little baby bird flying on her own. It's hard to be with, you don't miss me? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Katie. I just need to go figure that out. Are you serious? Of course. You're the love of my life, you know that. Oh, mom. I try to stay out of your way, but this is important. Independence is part of growing up. You'll be here when you, I'll be here when you need me. You'll always be my daughter. Oh, thanks, mom. Love you. Okay. All right, Jesse, what's up? You found another date. You probably met her already. Is she cute? Is that dagger? It's that dagger. Go to the Paradise Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll meet you there. She'll wear a blue jacket. I get to go to the cat cafe. Yeah. And don't forget to smile. Hmm, but fake smiles are bad. Never mind. Smiling optional. Okay, Jesse, just stop. I'm I'm good. Valeria, I was thinking of going to the park. Are you free? Sounds good. See you by the pond. Okay. Okay, here we go, Sunder. Thank you for coming last night. You're my fave dance partner. X cross oh cross my heart. You're my fave too. Oh. Oh Sunder. Okay. Um gifts? You currently have no gifts. I know. Um, let's go back to the crafting table. It's just weird that I can only make one, like let's just push all the buttons just to make sure. No. I'm just yeah, I don't get it. I don't get why I can't make more bracelets. I have stuff for it. I have the wire right there. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Um, where was Eric at? This shop? You approach the historic El Guerrero Theater and it's a remarkably unhistoric ticketing machine. <gasps> oh. Oh, we can go to concerts. I guess I can do that later. As you leave, you notice the Los Angeles Ballet Company is visiting later this summer. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, Paradise Lost, Rosa. Yeah, I don't, I don't see like a shop for Eric. Cause I would assume he has more recipes too. You know what I mean? Did I like miss something? Did he like tell me I have to do something particular to get to his? stuff and I just don't I just don't know what's up anyway we're going to the cat cafe welcome to paradise lost I'm Olivia what kind of cats do you like <gasps> oh my god all of them That's not a real answer you know but it's true that every cat deserves love all cats are good cats Olivia Don't you work at cakes? Oh my god, it is the same person! <laughs> oh ha, I thought Jesse would tell you he sets us up. And oh, I forgot to take off my work apron, sorry for a second. Oh! Oh, she's my date! And I did our. That's what he meant. Olivia takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang out and pet cats, I don't really like dates anyway. He wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say. And then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing. It's all so fake. What? What about dating swords? Everyone's got their thing, I guess. I'd have to try it and see. Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focused in the distance. Wait, don't look behind you, but I think someone's watching us in the window. You peek from the corner of your eye, but you don't see anyone. Hmm, they're gone. Maybe I was imagining things. An elegant cat walks up and sits nearby, staring at you curiously. Huh? I don't recognize this one. Who are you, kitty? Are you new here? Jed, what's up? What's up? Did you come in in the raid? He's so cute. May I pet you, perhaps? 
Olivia reaches her hand tentatively, but the cat stalks away again, tail in the air. It was me, I was watching. <laughs> oh, Kendra. <laughs> Just popping out of Lurk to say hi. Hi! Always happy to have you here. Lurkers are very much appreciated. I guess I offended her. You spent some time with Olivia chatting and petting cats. This was nice. See you around. Um, can I walk you home? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Oh, no! <gasps> oh, I was too forward. Oh, she doesn't think we're friends. I'm sorry, Olivia. Uh, it was nice to chat, but you're a little too intense for me, to be honest. What? Okay, sorry. So if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. She backs out of the cafe with a blush. Oh no, I really offended her. <laughs> I was at the pub, I guess it had come over in the raid. Oh yeah, fabulous. The cat gives you a pitying look. Well, at least I can pet the kitty. She stares at you until you feel uncomfortable. You head home. Oh man, I didn't even get to pet a cat. I offended my date and I didn't even get to pet a cat. Wow. Okay. No, it didn't. It didn't work out. Eric? You know Olivia? You don't need to. I saw your data. You saw? I've been there. I know how it feels to be rejected. They think they're so much better than us, but they're not. You're better than all of them. To be, you deserve to be treated like a queen, Karen. Um, it's okay. Get the confidence. Pet the cat. Turn around. Pet the cat. Hi, lady. She gets lots of pets. If I pet her, she will just take over, and I won't be able to play the game. Eric is a bit forward too. He is! So maybe he also offended Olivia at one point and he knows what's up. Hey, sorry if I'm awkward or say too much. You're just so pretty. Thanks, Eric. I know. Jesse, how to go with Olivia? Um, we're friends, maybe? I don't think so. I don't think she likes me very much. Aw, oh, sweet. Friends are the best. I, you know, I don't know. There's a question mark there because I don't think we're friends. This is progress. Just think, a few weeks ago you never dated anyone. Now you have experience and skills. If you want to change up your weapon combos, check out the gym in town. It's the most romantic holiday ever around the corner. It's summer right now, so... What? Valentine's? No, silly 4th of July. What? Nuh-uh. <laughs> pet the cat or I'm calling the cops. You're just gonna have to call the cops, Jed. Okay, you really want me to pet the cat? You really want me to pet the cat? Okay. Fine. Hey, lady. What's up? What's up, lady? Now you're not gonna leave me alone. Okay. I pet her. I pet her. Now she's all disturbed. See the babies. Um, I'll turn on the baby cam. They're not really in a good spot for that. Yeah, see, she's- and she just jumped off the bed. Well, anyway, if she comes back, she'll be on cam. Oh no, baby cam is still slithering. Oops. Hang on, let me fix that. Okay. There we go. Now it's right. It was more for you to pet the baby. Oh, okay, okay. Well, there we go. At least we spent points on it to make it happen. Okay. You think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my partner Samantha at a barbecue. It's gold. You'll be all heart eyes. I'll send you details soon. Okay. All right, no more texts. Let's go. Yeah, she's under me now. She's about to climb up in my lap, I can tell. She's clawing my chair. What's up, Kitty Cat? What's up, lady? What's up, lady? There you are. Did everybody see lady? Okay. Let's go to this gym. Oh, okay, you can practice, I guess, with them. I don't want to bother with that on stream. Probably something I should do when I play by myself, but that sounds boring. Oh, I already checked this place out. Oh, but there's different tickets now. Holy energy. A blessing, soft and warm. Ooh. Displays a picture of a hand waving. Oh. <laughs> she hearts you too. Alright, let's, let's go on this date. Let's go on the date with our dagger friend. You arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone at first. We want big screen lady petting small screen boyfriend dungeon. <laughs> um, then you notice a metallic gleam on a bench nearby. 
Oh, wait, no, she doesn't want to be picked up. Say hello. Oh, she likes painting. Jed has the way to all of our hearts. Oh, that's better. Huh? Oh, she's so cool. She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Huh? Come on, lady. You can get in the lap. You can get in the lap. There you go. Hey, wow. I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dunge. You're cute. You too. Oh, wow. To tell the truth, I got a little dressed up. Thanks. For me? By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Or how my blade got chipped. In an ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbed me, so I'm a little jumpy. Besides, safety first, just in case you're an axe murderer. Huh? Jewelry is super on point, Katie, I agree. Though I suppose you are more likely to just turn out to be an axe. No, I'm a wielder! Not that that'd be a problem if you were, that'd be hypocritical given my own. She leans closer and lowers her voice dramatically. Situation. So what is it, you know, your deal? You can tell me and I won't judge you. I just prefer to know up front before anything happens. Um, I'm not sure what my deal is. Well, I haven't heard of that one before, at least. Hmm. Maybe it'll be fun to find out what it is together. A man approaches you eyeing suspiciously. Can we help you? Everything all right, V? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's peachy. Thanks. See you later. The man stares you down a moment long before moving on. Sir! Wash your hoodie. Um. Sorry, that's a friend. Checking in to see I haven't been axe murdered. I'm not gonna axe murder you yet. Yet, anyway. <laughs> um, I enjoy how we can just about see Lady pining for attention every now and then. Yeah, she jumped off the lap. She's playing in this corner down here. No, no, she's drinking water. She's not playing. She's drinking water. He's got a cute face despite the hoodie. I don't know. Like I was super distracted by how dirty his hoodie was. Look, don't take this the wrong way. <sighs> but your story is too convenient. You're from out of town, a newbie, never dated before, yet also charming and apparently great at combat. Something doesn't add up. Thank you? The frown doesn't quite leave her face. Hey, you might not have access to a washer. Well, you know what? That's a problem, Kendra. That's a problem. The frown doesn't quite leave her face. Huh. You're smooth, and I don't mean that entirely as a compliment. The truth is we barely know each other. He, she stands, you know you have to say something or you'll never see her again. Get to know me then. I can fix him. <laughs> yeah, if she's his friend, why doesn't she let him use her washer? You know what I mean? Um, you feel a little breathless at your own daring, but Valeria's eyes warm a little. I suppose that's why I came to Verona Beach. New start, new friends. Oh yay! New rank. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. Ooh, that's a good one. Maybe she enjoys the stink. I doubt it. I doubt it, Jed. There's some there's something going on there. Okay, there's something going on. And if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well keep your enemies close, right? Right. <laughs> Say Livy. Feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything Ciao. to give. With one last weary look, she stalks away through the park. You head home. On your way home, you find a rose on your doorstep. <gasps> oh, Sunder. The note reads, thinking of you, Eric. Eric? No. You carry it inside. Okay, Eric is like a little bit too forward to, for the way he looks. His look does not match his attitude. Yeah, they both did. Okay, almost got you another date, but you... Wait, what did he say? But I need some info, be honest. Would you rather get to know a sweet, a guy who's buff or sweet? Swords! I want to know swords. Uh. <sighs> sorry, not a sword, but his name is Jonah and he's the best. Okay, approved. Okay, just so you know, uh, we used to date a while back. You're giving me your sloppy seconds, Jesse. Way before Samantha, he was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. Um, okay. 
I wish that was just okay with a period, not okay with an exclamation point, but whatever. Valeria, okay, next time a real date, one where I don't accuse you of being a murderer or an axe, though I knew a nice one once. Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. Glad to hear it. Thanks. Okay, yeah, we can do a real date. Hey, what's up? Having a good day? Um, thanks for the rose. No need to thank me. A woman like you deserves appreciation. My business is doing well, so I'm generous. Come by the shop sometime. If you don't hate me. I'm getting vibes from Eric. Like, maybe he's the one that stole that stole the swords and put them in the dunge, you know? Thanks, I'll let you know when I can think of a date we can go on. Let's go to the dunge in the meantime. Okay. No problem. Yeah, I don't... The more I talk to Eric, the more I'm, like, not super interested <laughs> like uh, not into it okay now where in the hail there's his shop okay let's go the shop smells of dust and oil you spot eric behind the register reading a book oh you can oh. hi i'm so glad you're here so day no no uh, there were lots of customers here before. Really? Let me give you a tour. Verona Beach knuckleheads mostly want switchblades and razors, but we carry the finest blades, some even made on site in my private smithy. I also teach classes at Verona Beach College about the history of war. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? Um, I guess I'll say Talwar. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Most people know of the scimitar, but you're into rarities. Ah. Wait, you mean a weapon person, right? Of course. <laughs> Fifty Shades type of vibes. Yeah, I'm told, I'm really getting some Fifty Shades type of vibes from Eric. Like, I'm really like, look at his face when I tell him, like, there's this weapon person I'm interested in. Like, that is like a super jealous face, and like, we've not even been on a date yet. Like, just I'm just this is not this is not right. These are not like normal problems. It's naturally fascinating wielding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Excalibur would transform into if you were a person. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, Karen, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make the decisions, the strategies, the tactics. It's not polite to say, and pure humans aren't superior, but the truth is we're better suited to leadership. What? Mm-hmm. Or whatever the opposite of hybrid is? Mm -hmm. I have a little project I think you'd be interested in. I don't know if I'm interested in any of this, Eric. This is not right. Pure? Pure? Is this like this world's version of like a Nazi? I'm, 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 mm -mm. I'm forging a new and improved kind of weapon. Way smarter than the idiot tower you like so much. Eric, stop it! Mm. This is not how you win my heart. I don't know what to call the supreme sword yet. You can forge people? No, 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 not people. That'd be like giving birth or something mm. gross. Why is that gross? I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need its own thoughts and feelings and baggage. Think of it, the ultimate weapon with the tactical insight and none of the drama. Uh-uh, control free much? You won't be so dismissive when you see what I've made. Some people and some weapons are just better than others. A perfect servant will always be more loyal than an equal. The sooner you realize it, you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Mm -hmm. I am totally getting supremacist vibes here. Not about, I am not about this. I am not about this. Now, what can I help you with? I'm offering you a little discount here. I don't want any of your shit. Uh, no. Catch you on the sharp side, cutie. No, I don't think you will, Eric. I'm done being nice to you. So I guess now you see why I prefer steel weapons. No, actually, I don't see that. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. Can't really expect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day, can you? No. What's up, lady? Oh no, it's Oreo! Hello, Oreo! Whatever. I don't like him. 
but he didn't sell um, crafting recipes anyway. I must just like literally not be pushing the right button or something. Like I don't, I don't understand like why I can't make more gifts. Doesn't really make, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, Eric go away challenge 2012. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Oh, gross, there's more stuff at his shop. Okay. Okay, Karen, find time in your busy love life to stop by. Buy something if you like or whatever. Oh, here's like his real shop with everything. I'll text you later. Please don't. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go in the dunge. Oh wait, there's exclamations at the gym. I guess that means there's a scene. I guess we should at least watch the scene even though I don't want to do the gym in particular. You can only give a gift once. Is that like normal in these type of games and I'm just not on the up and up? I've already worked on my abs today, what's next? Oh, so it's really just- it just wanted me to see that it existed. There's not a scene there. Okay. Well, we're gonna go in the dunge. You make it once and that's it. Okay, thank you for confirming, Kendra. Sunder, of course. Which floor would you like to go? Oh, I can start again, or I can just go to floor three. We're gonna start from one. Um, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. If I can build back up to three. Dungeon Fear Unidentified. I wonder where the monsters are coming from. From my psyche. Die, TV. I did not notice you guys. You were hiding back there. Thanks, Sunder. I'm glad you're there for me if I faint. I cleared that first floor fast this time. Yes, let's go. What's up here? Challenge room? Oh no, don't challenge me. I want easy games. Oh, shoot. Um, I guess I can just keep going? That's what happens in here? Oh, and I can't open the disguise. Okay. right into it. Challenge complete. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, I know, but I don't have any healies. Oh, a safe. Nice. Found anime t-shirt recipe. Okay, I can give that as a gift, I guess. Break time. I'm too surprised, but oh. it's a disappointing surprise. Oh, but they look so pretty! It's supposed to be cupcake pancakes, but... <laughs> Well, they yeah. they look beautiful. Look, I got cupcake pancakes, guys. Don't show that off. They they're pretty. No, there's supposed to be a lot more to it, and they failed, of course. They forgot stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, let's try these guys. Um, do we not pick up books? So I'm full on the books. If you look up in the right, um, the right B, up in that this top corner, 
of the scream. Um, I haven't used any spells yet, so. Well, they taste good. I mean, maybe they're missing stuff. I don't know, but they taste good. Uh huh. We chilled before, so let's race this time. Two laps. Ready, set, go. Both of you set off, carving up the ice. You skate as hard as you can, but in the middle you fumble and nearly trip. <gasps> Thunder beats you to the finish line. Wow! <laughs> now my blood's pumping. Thunder smiles. Warmed up for more monster fighting. <laughs> you are late for bed, Jed. I can't believe you're still awake. Thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, there's a flag right there. Does that mean that's the end? Is that what's up? Or is that where I came in? Maybe that's where I came in. Must be the entrance. See, this is what that's what the book does is that fireball and then i can pick up more oh you're good oh thank you oh hash browns this the ketchup thank you more wire um i'm so interested to see your next sunder date for a plot twist is there a plot twist coming don't give me spoilers now That's all that. Let's go down to the next floor. Hopefully we'll make it to another day before the end of the stream. I have to level him up again and you can see like it's taking much, much longer. So I don't know if the next day will get streamed. We'll see. <laughs> yes, I got pancakes. They're really good, y'all. Oh no, it's the cassettes again! They fucking killed me last time! Bad cassettes! More boba, I need that. Money, money, money! Another boba, fuck yeah. Okay. Some more pancake. Mm hmm. The vending machine. Bubble tea, sugar. I'll get the question mark. Oh! A hole opens where the vending machine used to be. So I guess you can go down early if you, for, for that? I don't want to go down early, though. I want to kill more things. <gasps> Mind if we take a break? Oh, an arcade! Let me use some wire. We can play video games together, Sunder. It's going to be so fun. Oh, I love pinball back in the day. Do they have a classic one? Ballyhoo. Mm hmm. Hmm. Everyone forgets the best stuff. What do you want to play instead? Dance rhythm. Oh no, those machines still exist, I course. <gasps> Why would you destroy them? I'll save my moves for the real dance floor. Well, Sunder, don't be like that. Dance Dance Revolution with me. Mm. More pancake. We got one last thing, I'm sorry. Thank you! Oh my gosh, I have all the breakfast. I have hash browns and bacon now too, and a sausage. Good game. Thanks for doing the arcade with me, Sunder. Ooh, is this a... Oh no, there's enemies in here too. I thought maybe this was like a treasure room or something at first, when I saw like all those boxes. But it's not, it's a kill me room.
Thunder is always so supportive. If I'm doing bad at the game and dying. Oh, there's the real down way. Okay. It's the best of IHOP. Oh! Oh, is that where he got the food from? I didn't even know. But I guess because I said the... Because, or he did he say it? The cupcake thing? Mmm! Much higher rank now. Maybe I can get the next level. Oh, but I'm out of healies. Yeah, I have no healing, though. This might be where I die. Why didn't any of those boxes drop healies? The cell phone monsters look upgraded. Yeah, they looked upgraded to me, too. Alright. Vault's found, just one. I found a new hangout, too. Yeah, I didn't quite get it. Wielder level up, though. But Sunder did not level up. Okay, I can craft the anime t-shirt. Wow! Yeah! Go check it out in the mirror. Oh, it's for me. It's not a gift. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff now. Well, I'm gonna wear... What's this? I'm gonna wear a cute dress. Oh, I can put on hats, too. What does this look like? I think this is actually a bit more me. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's check my messages. Okay, so you're a plus... You and a plus one are invited to my 4th of July barbecue tomorrow. Jonah really wants to meet you, and he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. You gonna invite anyone? Definitely. Oh yeah, I'm gonna invite somebody. Tell them to bring something. See you tomorrow. Okay. How do I choose who I'm inviting? Sunder! Come with me to the BBQ! Hopefully I'll get to choose tomorrow. Alright. Let's do some more dunge. I mean, maybe just do... Maybe if I just do floor one again, I'll get um enough upgrade with him. I wonder where the monsters are coming from. I don't know. I'm so good at running into their attacks. Yet another triumph for the sexiest duo around. We are so the sexiest duo. Oh, that was it? Did I really do the whole first floor that fast? Yeah, it was really small. Okay. Okay, almost. Almost. So we can hopefully do one more date scene then before the end of the stream. Oh, I did 
did kill you down there. All right. Let's keep going. What are these, like, black balls that the TVs are shooting at me? They're just, like, these weird projectiles. And I assume the way that this is playing, that as I'm leveling up with these, um, sword boys, they're doing more damage. Um, at least it seems that way anyway. There we go, there we go, okay. I want to be famous, I want to be famous. Make me famous. Okay. Let's um do a little bit with Valyria until I die. Thank you, Kendra. You're the bestest. Oh, she's like, you gotta get up close. Oh, wow. You gotta be a pro gamer for this lady. Okay. Oh, her big attack looks cool though. Let's play it safe for a minute. Is there an event right here? Or are you just saying that because you're, like, worried? Or maybe that's her please heal message. I have to get to know her a little. I don't know her like I know Sunder. I always try to stab the these guys at first. The vending machine offers several choices. Um, we're gonna get another bubble. Okay. Finally a monster free zone. Oh. Oh! Oh, there's a massage chair event. Are you ready to m get massage chairs with our lady? Here we go. We have a little time. Oh, we have time for a little self-indulgence, right? You sit in the massage chairs, they begin to vibrate and eat your back. <laughs> Too soon it's over, you feel more relaxed. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. Valeria stretches with a happy groan. Hmm. Yeah, definitely <laughs> they do. Mm -hmm. All those weird vertebrae need special massage expertise, I'm sure. Until we chop them up, let's go. I like her. She's cool. Definitely second best after Sunder. I'm just not very good at fighting with her weapon. I don't feel nearly as good about it as I did with, um, oh, do with Sunders or that I did with Isaacs. television. Alright. Go down to floor four. <clears throat> and that'll probably be the death. And then we can go do another Sunder date.
lady being bad. I don't know if you can hear that, probably not. <laughs> She's apparently on the table messing with the food. It almost looks like a normal mall for once. Oh, cat statue! Huh? Reminiscent of Steinlin, but even more poppy and mainstream. Probably just a lazy knockoff. It's possible the artist knowingly commented on the commercial placement. It'd be nice if the piece were both pretty and honest. They're both important components, wouldn't you say? In, um, art, of course. I prefer beauty. <sighs> Gross, you better keep it honest where I'm concerned, at least. Um, no, because I'm... I'll be done streaming soon, and then I'm going to come to it more. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> Apparently, Levi tried playing Boyfriend Dungeon and didn't like it. <laughs> did not play it. Just look at it. <laughs> he says he didn't play it. He's just looking at it. You and me were doomed if you were a liar, even just as friends. Oh boy. I guess we'll find out sooner or later, huh? If you feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. All right, we need to... Can I, like, just end the dungeon? Uh, I don't know. It's time to end stream. I need to die. Oh, here's a vault. Sweet. Um, pepperoni pizza recipe. <gasps> oh, maybe I can give that as a gift. Yum. Yeah, that's a good gift. I love food gifts. Going down another floor. Oh, we almost leveled up with her too. Oh, this is locked? The gate's closed. Maybe you can find a key nearby. Okay. Battle your fears. Oh, it's a boss. I guess this is the first boss of the game we've seen? Oh god. It clawed me. <laughs> At least I beat some of the tape guys this time that I was struggling with before. Level up! Alright, let's go home. Oh, we're inviting Sunder. He accepts and he says he'll meet you there. Yay! Soda. You worry it's not good enough, will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Soda's a good safe option. Yeah, I mean, you always need more drinks. Looking good. Thanks for the invite. Thanks, Sunder. Hey, All right, let's go investigate. Cousin. I am the coolest. Everyone be friendly, okay? Oh, you brought soda. Perfect, world. And who's this with you? <laughs> oh my. His shirt is pretty awesome. Name's Sunder. The pleasure is all mine. Hmm. Oh, this is Jonah? Okay. Um, hi. I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. Mm. I, can you become a sword? No. Not, not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really into swords. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, thanks, Jonah. Trying out the dungeon myself. You should try it. Jesse says you wield um weapons down there. I know I said I can't become a sword, but I can sometimes be an axe. I don't often do it, though. <gasps> So you can be a weapon. That's amazing. It doesn't take much effort. Okay. I just decide to change shape like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. 
Anyway, I could definitely use the money from a gig, but you promise you won't hurt anyone? Like, not even animals? Only monsters. And who decides what's an animal or a monster? I manifest those from my fears! They're clearly monsters! Jonah! But I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Oh, now I feel bad. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. We want to hang out like as humans. Yeah, okay. Jonah, I feel so bad. You're so nice. I got martinis, screwdrivers, and cosmos. What'd I miss? Oh, Sunder, bring in all the good stuff. Not much, just some awkward small talk, the usual. Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Uh. Oh, hello. May I kiss your hand? No! Go away! Now, my sweet, that is quite rude. Even if I know you're joking. I'm not! Uh... Thanks, Jonah. I'm not joking. What's well, a free country? What? Hmm. And I'll freely decide to leave the party now. Good, good, bye. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. <laughs> You're so fucking dramatic. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. Are you okay, Karen? Eric really gets to you. I hate him! You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Sunder gives you a small concerned smile and changes the focus of the conversation. You know him, Jonah. Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. That's not my problem. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. Yeah, I have enough problems. The evening goes by surprisingly quickly with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grilled portobellos steadily, walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. <laughs> oh, fabulous. My favorite kind of party. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel wild romantic energy surge through you. <gasps> Sunder? <gasps> oh, Sunder. Oh, Sunder! <laughs> Those were some explosions, all right. <laughs> yeah, they were, Jesse. Were you watching or something? Um, now I'm gonna head home and get some food. There's plenty of burgers, man. Portobello's too. Don't hold back. I have a lot of um, dietary restrictions. <sighs> yes, I think you do, Sunder. See ya. Sunder moves very close to you, as if to kiss you goodbye, then turns away at the last moment. See ya! Left to fend for yourself, a deep tiredness soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. Okay, I think that is the absolute most perfect place to end this stream. So, um, I know this game auto-saves, so I don't have to do anything. So let's just switch back to webcam only. All right, guys. That game was really fucking good, okay? Right? It's a really good game. Um, let's see who we can raid. Let's see who we can raid. All right. While I'm pulling this up and finding out who we're going to raid, guys, um, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you for the applause, Katie. Thank you for the applause. This is a really great game. I'm definitely going to play more of it. Um, I have got to do more of Sunder's line now that it's pretty obvious he's a vampire or something kind of like that, at least. So I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> uh, please support me. Here's all my socials. You guys know how to do. I am only three away from the 200 followers. If um, anybody, if you enjoyed the stream and you haven't followed yet, please give it a follow. I'd really super appreciate it so I can hit that 200 number. I normally really don't care about followers, but when you're close to the round number, like you just, you know, I'm sorry, my like, brains are dumb and I want that round number. Um, also, if you know anybody that would be interested, please tell them about my stream so that they will go ahead and give me a follow. Um, next time, next time on Artistic License on Thursday, we are going to be playing Final Fantasy X. We're going to finish up Orin and Riku's Ultimate Weapon and maybe start on some of the optional Aeons. Uh, next week on Saturday, we're having Interstage Window. That is at noon. This is all Eastern time. And we're doing a community day. We're doing a Stardew community day. And we're probably going to finish up spring of the first year. I think based on the pace we've been going, that's probably what's going to happen. 
So we're gonna get to do the flower dance. So please come to that. Um, I have the mod that lets more people join than just four in the farm, so we can have lots of people playing. There are rules and stuff, so if you're interested, then uh, please join the Discord and get the farmer role. That will give you all of the information that you need. Okay, guys, um, Saskatoon is live, so and he's playing Resident Evil Village, so we're going to raid into him. So here we go. Let me type that out. Rio's Saskatchewan. There we go. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to make it a great day. I'll see y'all next Thursday or on Saturday. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, guys.